Welcome to the next episode of Isn't That Rich. I'm Jared Gravatt here with Ashley McVicker, and we have a very special guest today, Taylor Shanks. Taylor, thank you guys. Thank you so much for being with us today. No, I love to be on here and I love to hang out with you guys. So thank you for having me. Yeah. So you're going to talk a little bit about the credit card options that we provide here at the bank. Yep. Yeah. So I first want to start with um, like some of the benefits and services that our credit card company offers. Some people truly don't even know that we offer credit cards. And so I feel like that's doing our customers like an injustice if we don't talk to them about what we offer. Um, So some of the benefits, (laughs) the biggest number one is going to be zero (laughs) fraud liability protection for unauthorized charges on your account. And I want to hit on that one because in the bank, we see this all the time um, with like debit card fraud. So someone comes in, says they did not make this purchase on their card, and we have some steps that we go through to help try to get that money back for them before the bank takes a loss on it, or we have to do like an investigation on our end. Um, Like an example is the other day I had someone come in and he had $189 charge on his account. He's like, I did not do this. Mm. Um, I took the time to chat with him. We called the customer service line that the phone number was attached to his statement called got a refund back for it so we didn't have to turn it into our fraud department but with a credit card he could have just called the credit card company and said i didn't make this purchase and it would have been taken care of so you can just dispute the charges on a credit card yes with a debit card it's a little bit different and more lengthy of a process like a little bit longer to get the money back let us do what we need to do on the bank and so like with a credit card that's just going to go a lot seamless and faster yeah. um go I'm, ahead i'm kind of like new to the whole credit card thing to be Jaren honest. just got a credit card. I was like, I like grew up being taught like credit cards are bad and this and that. So I just literally. Dave Ramsey, you've been on the Dave Ramsey. And I, don't, and I don't carry cash. <laughs> so I just swipe everything on my like debit card. Yeah. Well, like Lexi found that out and she goes, oh my gosh, like how have you been shopping That's online? Not okay. Like she goes, we see fraud happening every single day Mm -hmm. like this is is for your protection to like actually use your credit card and there's benefits and so many great things it's not a bad thing it's actually a really positive thing that you should be using if you can use it correctly i came to the light so (laughs) i'm a believer now yeah (laughs) you were using my debit card for a while weren't you jared (laughs) listen (laughs) tell the story i've already told the story on this Uh, podcast where basically jared and i got our debit cards mixed up (laughs) oh no and i was like why if i and buying, you afford your and buying the exact same thing <laughs> so none of us really thought anything until Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> moving on. So what are some other <laughs> benefits of a credit card dealer? So some other benefits are going to be an emergency card replacement. If you lose your card while traveling, how nice is that? Mm. Uh, mobile payment. So um, after our customers like get their credit card in the mail, I ask them to come back in and see me. We download the credit card app, um, get them a username, login, kind of like our MyFSB app, but it's for the Elon credit card services. Um, help them get that. They can check their purchases, their balance, make payments on there. So I'll kind of help them set up their FSB checking account to link to that when they want to make their payment. Oh, that's nice. Make it seamless and easy. This is why... I love like community local banking. <clears throat> like we're not just going to send you on your way with a credit card and let you just fend for yourself. Like we're going to ask you to come back, sit down with us. Let's get you on your app so you know what to look for on your credit card and all that. Now, the only thing is this is a third party program that we use. So we can't accept payments at the bank. We do have to direct them to a lawn to make their credit card payment. So which we can also help do that. Um, you do get reporting tools, online free online expense reporting tools, and account and transaction notifications, which is a pretty standard thing. Oh my gosh. Still I mean, nice. I love getting notified when my um, credit card has been swiped. Yeah. And then I'm like, did I do that? Yeah. Did I... <laughs> Did I spend that? (laughs) Yes, you did. (laughs) But like, like I, we talked about, you know, a little bit before Timu and Sheen. Okay. Everybody knows what those two websites are. (laughs) I have seen more times than not. They like sell your information off or you go to like do a purchase and you click on some things you think you're finalizing your purchase and like sign up for some subscription or something crazy it's happened um and so then i have to try to fight with these companies to help these people get their money back because they use their debit card where if you're shopping on those online places like that anything online i say have a credit card on file Mm. for that zero fraud liability reason so so good good to know yeah Okay, so if you're shopping at Sheen, stop. 
No, I love Sheen. Don't get me wrong. I'm on there. But I'm just saying, use your credit card if you're going to do it. Yeah. All right. Okay. You guys want to talk about some business cards? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Let's just jump into our, what, what kind of options do we have? Because I didn't know we had credit cards until like a year ago. Like I just always, I just, I don't know. I just thought we had all these bank accounts, but we get on the website and there's these beautiful credit cards just listed. But I'm mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh, we have to talk about this. Yeah. Cause I think there's yeah. so many different people that probably, um, fall into a certain category or, or like, they would use a certain type of credit card versus somebody else. And we have different options for that. So I'm excited to go through those. Yeah. So um, a lot of businesses do use credit cards, which are great. Um, We have some different ones that you can earn rewards back on. Like an all-purpose credit card is called a real rewards card with Elan. Um, So this one, you are earning points for every dollar that is spent. $2,500 bonus reward points after your first purchase. You can redeem that in cash back, um, gift cards, things like that. Um, that's pretty much what a lot of our business cards and personal cards are. They, you're going to earn rewards back in different kind of categories and stuff like that. Um, with these businesses, I see like they do the rewards and then they give back to their employees by doing like gift cards. Or, you know, using Mm -hmm. their points towards giving back to their employees as some kind of incentive or Christmas gifts or something like that. So I thought that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Another one is, um, so this is a business card and a personal card. And it is a 0% interest for 18 billing cycles. That uh, billing cycle, it varies. Sometimes, like, we've seen it at 20. We've seen it at 18, down to 14. It, It varies sometimes. But... 0% is a great thing. So if you're a business, this is going to be great if you have like a huge expense coming up, like you need to buy a new camera or something for your business. This would be great to put it on that 0% card paid off. 0%, you're totally good. no interest. No. The only thing about this is though you have to pay it off within that 18 billing cycles or else all that interest is going to come back to get you. You don't want to do that. So just make sure that you're... Wow. This is where like... (laughs) you know, being mindful about your spending and don't get into something that you, you can't get into. Mm -hmm. For me personally, when I got my credit card through a lawn with the bank, they set my limit at $7,000. I'm like, who needs that kind of limit? I don't. (laughs) So (laughs) drop it down. Yeah. Yeah. Can you lower that please? No. Mm -hmm. So this is just where you have to be responsible and mindful about your spending. It is not like a $7,000 gift card. Here you go. (laughs) Rack it up. (laughs) No, don't do that. Did you do that? No way. She's I'm like, I super diligent with my credit card. Like, it is strictly for emergencies only. But I just thought that 0% is really good. Um, Personal-wise, I kind of ask people, um, this is part of our process, like, talking to people, finding out what they're going to use their credit card for, you know, what kind of purchases will they be making to fit the find the best fit for them. Um, but the 0% one's really good for, like, you're going on a vacation, book your vacation on at 0% Christmas gifts, Mm. you know, Mm -hmm. Christmas time, Mm -hmm. things like that. So it's really good. So this one also has no annual fee. No, no. There are only um, one or two that have annual fees on them. Most of these do not have annual fees. Okay. And so that's the real rewards, all purpose rewards. Yeah. Credit card. So that one's 0% for six billing cycles, which you're still getting, you know, some 0%, but, um, And that's just a business credit card or it's a business and personal one? That one one is just a business. No, you're good. I'm talking about the Visa business card is the one that has 0%, and that goes for business and personal. Okay. That one's just a basic Visa card. Okay. Um, Another thing I want to touch on really quick is something else for personal credit cards. You can do um, a balance transfer. So I've seen this, too where um, somebody comes in and they have, let's just say, a Capital One card that has $10,000 on it. You can balance transfer that over to your Elan card at 0% interest and pay that off at 0%. Oh, that's great. So if somebody Mm -hmm. was, yeah, had a $10,000 balance and just could not afford the interest on it, they can roll it over, Mm -hmm. balance transfer, and then pay 0% and just... Yes. So you do have to pay, though, a 3% balance transfer fee. Um, so you are paying something, but I'm like more times than not, the three percent balance transfer fee is like less than what you would be paying in interest on that card. You know what I mean? Right. So, and we have a really good like tool on the Elon website that we can sit down with the customer and calculate that, like what it's going to be. What see it if will it's, actually look like and if it's beneficial. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yep. 
and you can do that with several cards. Like I think you can put into up into three cards to see, you know, if they have several different cards with balances on them, what it's going to be to transfer it. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was a nice tool. That is a really nice tool. Yeah. It's great. I would love for you to talk about the community card that we offer. Yeah. So the community card that we offer um, is great for nonprofits, um, things like that. I've done this with several different people. So they do offer um, generous credit card lines. And then the other good thing about doing a community card is that no one's um, credit is hit on this. Oh, so, nice. That's great. Yeah, I always tell people when you apply for this, you're you're not getting like a hard inquiry on your credit line for this. So no personal guarantees required. Um, you have to have an established like nonprofit for two years and then establish credit history in order to get this card. But lots of nonprofits do this. We're working with one right now trying to get them approved. That's awesome. So yep. if you're a nonprofit, this is the card to go for. Yes. Yep, it's a good one. Um, another thing too is... Like this, this business I'm working with right now, for some reason, their application got denied. And I, I check a report daily to see like whether they got approved or denied. <clears throat> and so I just called our credit card company and said, did we fill in something wrong on the application? What do we need to fix? When they inputted it on their system, something went south. And so I just called them on the phone, talked to the underwriting company, and they helped me fix it. And so it's in a, getting an approval status right now. So that's good. You can call these like local people on the phone with our credit card company on the bank end, and we can talk to them, tell them what's going on, and they'll help get it fixed. Oh gosh, that, so. that sounds so much better than like getting on the internet and trying to get a certain type of credit mm -hmm. card, and then you don't. Yeah, just I don't know. Yeah, seems like a lot of drama mm -hmm. with no person involved. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Well, Taylor, are there any more credit card options that we have at the bank that you want to talk about? So there is a smart business rewards card. This is, again, back to a business. Um, a lot of these business cards do apply for personal things, too. Um, but this one, you can earn two times the points per $1 spent, um, one times the points on other eligible purchases. So with this one, there are certain categories that you have to hit to get the two times points. Um, you get 20,000 bonus points after you spend $500 in 90 days, which is probably wow, easy for a business yeah, to do. Yeah. Um, but this one has a 0% interest fee or a intro fee. Yes, thank you. Intro <laughs> fee. After that, it's $95. So, you know, that's up to the business if they want to mm -hmm. do that. You are getting, you know, two times points and points on other categories. So it's really up to the business. But so that's probably how these like companies kind of recoup a little bit of their money is by yeah. having these annual fees or intro fees. Yeah. I think people do ask why. What we credit card are transfer. you seeing um, businesses? I'll ask you this too. What what credit card are you seeing most business customers get? And then um, what consumers are you seeing mm -hmm. getting a consumer credit card? What yeah. type? The real rewards is, um, I see a lot of businesses do real rewards. We do a lot of the community cards too though for the nonprofits and stuff like that. Okay. Um, consumer wise, it's definitely gonna be that Visa Platinum, that basic Visa card, the 0% interest. Okay, so people yep. like to take advantage of the no no interest. Yes, for sure. Bearing. Yep, there's also um, another one that we have, and this one's great if you have zero credit, like you're just starting out. Um, I had a young girl, 18 years old, going to college, and she's like, I need to start establishing some credit. Um, they have you do a small deposit. It's like $300 um, that you pay a lawn to kind of like open your line of credit with them. And then after you start paying that for six months or so, they will contact you and say, we can give you this deposit back that you gave us. Oh. And you can switch to a different kind of credit card if you want. But as long as you have that $300 deposit to give them, they will open a credit card for you. And that you can get it back after the six months. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice because then that's kind of establishing some credit for six yeah. months, which yes. I feel like a lot of people probably mess up if they've never used credit before. They, You probably see it. People just mess up with it. Well, I think it's just people don't know um, where to start. If you have zero credit, it's yeah. like, where do you even start? Because you try to apply for one, you get denied. Um, so that's just a great starting point for someone. Yeah. Another thing that I have seen is like a parent will put their kid on there, uh, on like an authorized signer on their credit card um, and let them either have a card or just cut their card up when it comes in the mail, like don't give it to them to let them spend on it. But if they're an authorized user in the background, it is helping your kid establish credit at a young age mm -hmm. off of your credit card. Wow. Yeah. I have seen lots of parents do that. 
And I think that's really, really good. So you do that when your kid is 16 or 17. And like what I said is not even give them a credit card. Don't let them have access if you don't want to, Mm -hmm. but you can. And then by the time they turn 18, they'll have established credit already. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, because we just learn about it here all the time, but I'm kind of flabbergasted when people don't have credit. Mm -hmm. But my parents made me get a credit card when I was 18. See, mine did not. I had no idea where to start. Did you start with a credit card? Yeah, I started with a Capital One card when I was like 19. Um, And that's where I started building my credit. But yeah, I had never like been taught about getting a credit card or how to establish credit or anything like that. So is that something you kind of walk um, people through when you're opening a new account for them? Yeah, we do. I'm sure you touch on that. Yeah, it's part of our cross-selling process. Um, Talking about, just touching on the credit card and that we offer it. And telling the parents, you know, this is an option that you can do for mm-hmm. your child. So, yeah, it's part of our process. So when when, you, when the CSRs start digging digging into your business, they just, they're trying to help you <laughs> yes. build credit probably. Yes. we're looking out for your best interest, honestly. <laughs> That's what we're doing. You, like, open all the credit <laughs> cards like this, like in a fan. Just like, which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really think credit cards can be a great thing if you're responsible and mindful with your spending. I have seen some people go wild with a credit card. And I'm like, who's paying that bill? (laughs) (laughs) Have you had to clean up some credit card messes here at the bank with people? Like maybe they are doing balance transfers or or whatnot. Like what's maybe a good example you have of cleaning up a credit card mess? I I really don't have a credit card mess that I dealt with. So it's a good thing. Um, But I have seen someone that's been in some credit card debt and then done a loan like through the bank to consolidate that and then yeah. paid off. So yeah, at Marion West, I've seen Katie's naughty take care of some, <laughs> <laughs> take care of some things to help people do that before. So yeah, people do that. So when you're sitting down with people and you're talking through credit card, I guess you probably ask them some like situational questions as to if they can handle a credit card. Yeah. Like what is I don't your think fear? you're probably going to sell one to somebody if, if you don't think they can handle it. Well, I think when we go through this process, like a lot of questions, yes, we do ask. And one of them is like, do you have any idea what your credit score is? Mm -hmm. Like, let's just start there with a baseline question. Do you know what your credit score is or around? Because if they tell me it's low, like in the 500 range or something, I think we don't even want to apply for one because they're probably more than likely going to get declined. So then Quillow might be a good option for them. Mm Mm-hmm. Or a personal loan option. Yes, through the bank. So if you're just getting started and you want to open up your first credit card, which is the one that they would want to open up? So it's called Visa Secured. Okay. And that is the one where you put in the $300 deposit. Awesome. Yeah. So, and that's what we, that's why we sit down and talk to people. We figure out what stage of life are you in? What is going on? Yes, an 18 year old that's about to go off to college that, has never bought a car before or been out on her own is probably not going to have any established credit. So that is the route that I would recommend that we go. And then let's say you're a a brand new business owner and you're wanting to open up your first credit card, which, Mm -hmm. which one of those would you do? So we would talk about, do you have big purchases coming up? Anything planned that you're needing to buy or spend on? If it's a big purchase that's coming up, we're going to go on the visa uh, business card, the basic one, 0% interest. You're an established business customer. You're just wanting a different card. Maybe I would definitely recommend the real rewards because then you're getting some points back for your, like I said, employees to buy stuff and get gift cards, things like that on. Why would I um, get a credit card with a bank versus maybe these other fabulous credit card companies that we see in commercials? Um, I think that goes back to like having good value where, like I said, you have a contact person that you can come into the bank and say, I'm having an issue with my credit card. Can we sit down and can you help me? You know, we'll pull you into our office and let's call the credit card company together. Let's sit Mm -hmm. down and figure it out together. We'll help you through that process. And I think, you know, American Express, Capital One, like all of those things are great, but you're going to have to sit on a 1-800 line if you have a question or you have Mm -hmm. a problem. And so 
Um, you just get a person. Yeah, you just get that personal touch. You get yeah, a live person that, yes, you can come to and go to when you need help or you have mm-hmm. questions and know that we're going to take care of you. And you wouldn't, it's like one of those things you wouldn't believe until it happens to you, like fraud. Oh, yeah. When you're, like you don't, you don't care about it really until it happens. And then you're like thankful you're sitting with someone and they're willing to call and dispute the fraud for you because that's, that's scary. Yeah. You want to make sure you're doing the right thing for sure. Right. Yeah. And more than that, it's like, even just the proper recommendation. I remember like when I was starting, I was like, you know, online, I didn't know where to begin. I'm Mm -hmm. like, is this like a good card for me and my life or, you know what I mean? But I think what's great about doing it with a personal bank and like talking to you is, you know, these like situational questions that are going to direct people to like the perfect card for their lifestyle. And they don't have to, figure it out on their own. You're like an expert that can actually help them and guide them to get that perfect card. And on the website for our credit card, the bank's card, um, we can kind of go through like a questionnaire, like where do you, what categories do you think you spend the most money on your credit card? Oh, that's great. Yes. And we can go through those together. And then actually Alon, our credit card company, their website will give you a good recommendation too. After you put in like the categories that you spend the most money in per month, they nice. will also give you a recommendation. That's so we great. can then wow. go back and review that card and see what kind of perks are coming out of that and get you set up on that. So it's like if you're somebody that maybe travels a lot, you could plug that in there and it's going to pop you up with the best oh, yeah. card is for you with the rewards. Yes. Well, that great. is why I just recommend if anybody's thinking about doing a credit card, we do offer them and I want them to come to the bank and sit down and with a CSR. And have rewards. Yeah. Yes. And we do have rewards. So you're getting something back out of it. This is great. It's yeah, amazing. but I just think sitting down with a CSR, um, telling us what you have going on, you know, getting your background information, and then we will find the best fit for you. Mm-hmm. We do all the work. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So if anybody is wanting to apply for a new credit card or anything like that, they just need to come inside of the bank and see a customer service representative. We'll get them set up with um, the application process and get them taken care of. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Taylor, is there anything that you want to leave with our listeners about credit cards or about banking in general before we let you go? No, I think, um, like I said, if you're just thinking about switching or needing a credit card, um, you just come in and talk to a CSR and we'll, we'll get you situated. All righty. Where can people find you if they want to sit down and talk to you? About you can find me in Harrisburg on most days. Um, I do bounce around and can take appointments. So if someone hears this podcast and wants to sit down with me, just let me know and I'll come to you. But that's also another good thing about community banking. Like, we can go around to different branches, make appointments with different people for different things. So, yep, we just do what fits our customer best, and we'll help you out. Right. Well, thanks for being on, Taylor. Yeah, thank Amazing. you, guys. Thank All you. Right. We'll see you guys next week. So, Jill, where do we go from here? Be sure to check out our show notes for this episode, and also be sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our newsletter. We'll see you next week. See you next week.